Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Crusaders Map 7 on Ultraviolence. This map is called the Sapphire Citadel, and was made and submitted by Cheese Wheel. Alright, hello you beautiful people. Here we have submission number 9, and there is a lot to unpack here, so let me just stand in this corner. Hopefully we are left alone as I try to explain what this what is all about. So this is Crusader, this is a 10 level map pack made by Cheese Wheel. And the first thing you probably noticed is we have a new weapon. Actually, we have new weapons. Also, fast weapon switching. And there's also new enemies. And this is all powered by MDF21 and DSD Hacked. And Cheese Wheel made this map pack as a way to practice with the Deco Hack tool, or Deco Hack, whatever you pronounce that. And Deco Hack is simply said a way to do dehacked with a much more readable syntax as if you're actually programming something instead of doing magic with pointers and whatnot so there is a lot of stuff to demonstrate here so i'm gonna take this a bit slow i'm gonna show off all the weapons and all the new enemies so let's start off with the doom blade which is a melee weapon, obviously, and it deals fixed damage, 80 damage, which is pretty epic. No uh, stupid randomness with melee damage, and 80 damage is pretty crazy. You can jib stuff easily, and yeah, you can kill chain gunners in one hit. And Berserk triples the damage, which is pretty insane. Then you have the heavy assault cannon. Yeah, these are all uh, new Doom game weapons, so Doom 2016, Doom Eternal. And this is the pistol replacement. And it actually deals a tiny amount of splash damage with each explosion, so... If you shoot it next to a wall, you actually take damage, as you can see. So... That's the weapons you start with. Then there's the super shotgun, which is more or less the same, except the spread has been tightened. So we can actually snipe stuff with the SSG now, like this Arachnotron. So that's all the weapons for now. Then you also noticed a new zombie. Actually, let's talk about the, uh, yeah, these guys, the uh, spread shot zombies. I think they have 60 health and they shoot plasma in a uh, spread pattern. Three bolts at once. But also we have the Belcher, it's a with a close range attack, flamethrower attack, pretty deadly. And what else? The, uh, oh, the Resurrector, that robot guy, I actually need to heal, one sec, it's pretty difficult to show off stuff, uh, talk about it, and dodge stuff all at the same time. So uh, let's try this again, you have the Resurrector, where is he? The robot guy. I think it sprites from uh, Strife or something. Where are you? I saw you here somewhere. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll see him uh, in a bit. But uh, basically, that guy can actually resurrect enemies like an archfall. He just has pretty low health, like 250. Then these guys, the Aurons, they're called. They have two attacks. They either do a spread attack, like that one, or the. Uh, the volley of projectiles with the other, uh, with the cannon. And they have um, 750 health, so the health between a Hell Knight and a Baron, which is uh, pretty cool. Okay, um, yeah, let's just kill these guys and then uh, move on to the next section. So the goal of this map is to find three keys and then you are at the final fights, and then you beat them up. Oh yeah, with the chain gun. This one is an absolute beast. Look this. Brrr, remember that? Yeah. I think it actually shoots pellets almost, or is it just me? It's just so fast, it looks like it's like a multiple hit scan per, um, per shot. No, I think it's just really fast, but it really it absolutely decimates enemies, and it's, it's awesome. Alright, let's continue... With the map, here's the golden cyberdemon. 
It's a Cyber Demon with a thousand health. And I'm pretty sure he also shoots a lot faster than the regular Cyber. And yeah, here we have the Rocket Launcher. But it actually fires three rockets at once. And the cool thing is, they are homing rockets. So if I do like this, actually like that, no, bad example. Like this, you can see how they lock onto targets. And they do reduce damage compared to the uh, original rocket launcher, but it's still pretty powerful. But sometimes a bit awkward to use, because sometimes the target's enemies you are not trying to target. But it's a, it's a cool weapon. I think each rocket deals like 100 damage. Okay, um... Let's try to take this tunnel again without getting killed. We can actually telefrag the uh, Ragnos like this. With the silent teleporters. Alright, Cyberdemon. Show off your infighting skills. There's a lot of revenants here. I was gonna infight with the zombies. Uh, wrong target, mister. You know what, let's fire some rockets here. Just get rid of the revenants ourselves. And yeah. Fire's a bit faster. Oh, a lot faster, actually. By the way, let's kill him, because he may have a thousand health, but he still deals as much damage as the regular Cyberdemon. Okay, let's get rid of the Kako. I saw a Kako somewhere. I'm going crazy. Yeah, I'm going crazy. Okay, let's fire some rockets, kill the Ragnos, and then I'm gonna go for secret number one. A very useful secret. You can lower this wall here for a lift. And up here, be careful, there's two revenants. And this chain gun absolutely destroys them. Got some ammo and mega armor, very important. Let me quickly check if I kill the chain gunner. There's always one chain gunner that is left behind because I always forget about him. Did I kill him? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's move on over here. Here we can find another new weapon. The Plasma Rifle. Also the Supercharger around the corner, which I would like to have. Let's just fire some rockets. You can also spread out the rockets by doing like this. If you want to target multiple enemies, just gotta swing your weapon from one side to the other. Like so. See? I hit two revenants. Ah, here's the Resurrector. Uh, quick before he dies. There he goes. He doesn't show off how he resurrects stuff. Actually, let me kill the revenant first. There's so much stuff to show. I'm a bit overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah, I wanna show the plasma. That's a really cool addition. So here's the plasma. Pretty normal. Nope. After 20 shots, it fires red projectiles, which do double damage, which is insane. And when you let go of the trigger, it fires a burst of five projectiles in a spread pattern. So kind of like in uh, the new Doom games as well. Except in the new Doom games, it's um, not a spread pattern of projectiles, but more like a heat wave kind of thing. But yeah, really cool. This weapon is an absolute beast. Boom! Yeah. There's the Resurrector. Look at him. See? Resurrect Skakos. And all the demons as well. Oh, and yep, zombies. It plays the gypsum when it dies, which is a bit um, distracting. Because you hear the gypsum and you think, oh no. Did he resurrect something? Or did an archfall resurrect something? But no, it's just part of the death sound. Alright, here's a booby trap. That switch is fake. Opens up all these walls. I'm just gonna run past all the enemies here, let them all infight or do whatever. And I'm just gonna move on, kill these guys. What else can I do? 
I can kill the Cheng and the Seer. You know, speedrunning this map would be pretty interesting because you basically rush through the map, let everything in fight. Uh, you rush for the BFG switches, there's two of them. I'll show them off in a moment. Although, honestly, I find the BFG to be a bit excessive. Like, it behaves differently as well. I'll, uh, I'll show you later once I actually get to grab the BFG, but it's very powerful. But in a map like this, it's maybe a bit too powerful that it's actually overpowered and it's not worth the sales. Because the BFG in this WOD uses 100 cells, which is uh, pretty ridiculous. But it's also three times more powerful, and you'll see why. Oh, I forgot the shotgun, by the way. I'll just quickly kill the Mancubus here. Yeah, the shotgun is over here. It's the same damage as the original, just like the SSG. But once again, the spread has been tightened and it has vertical spread now. See? It's pretty cool. But yeah, because of the vertical spread, it's basically a mini super shotgun and it kind of renders the single shotgun a bit useless I think there's nothing unique about it the unique thing about the original shotgun is that it's still only horizontal spread so it's still useful for sniping stuff but yeah in this version it's basically a downgraded super shotgun it, there's nothing unique about it except for the amount of pellets maybe the fire rate um, I'm gonna go for secret number two. The last secret. There's a. Not sure if you can see it, but there's a glowing sector over here. You can interact with it. It raises the bars for the Megasphere. But um, it's not for free. Some golden cyber demon spawn. Uh, with a very powerful plasma rifle, so we're just gonna absolutely melt them. Look at that. Completely destroyed. Boom! That is uh, a lot of fun. Uh, let's take the lift down here. And get rid of all the enemies here. Is there any enemy I missed? I don't think so. I think I showed off all the enemies that appear in this map. But there's more. There's also like a poisonous pain elemental. What else is there? The Doom uh, World threat shows off all the new, well, most of the new enemies. Some are still um, hidden from a threat viewer. Because it's like spoilery, I guess. Uh, two Archos here, no big deal with this very powerful rocket launcher. Yeah, this, this weapon is a lot of fun. Uh, let's do some chain gunning. Actually, let's do some heavy assault cannon. You can actually jip zombies with this. It's pretty insane. But I also want to jip, yeah, zombies with the doom blade. Yeah, that's so much fun. Mm. I wish this map had a berserk. It doesn't. They can do uh, 240 damage melee attacks. It's insane. Also the. Um, Chainsaw will receive an update or upgrade. Like the uh, the range has been extended, and it's actually useful now. So yeah, some very cool um, things done with DSD hacked and MBF21. Uh, oh yeah, so I wanted to press a switch here. Actually, this is switch one out of two to. Um, release the BFG or reveal the BFG but once again it's booby trapped with a lot of belchers so let's get out and just rocket them like this and they're also slightly faster than the Kako, actually a lot faster they kind of move like the, the asshole demons from Eternity. 
Except uh, they don't do the charge attack. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Ah. Here we have switch number two for the BFG, but it's guarded by a golden cyber. So let's wake him up. Let's punch some uh, zombies here, because it's fun. Pop, pop. Ah, if only melee always had a fixed damage in Vanilla Doom. Imagine if your Berserk always dealt 200 damage. Oh, that'd be so great. Also, I forgot to grab some rockets. Let's see, where's the golden Saibi? He seems to be busy, but I want to kill him. Also, I want to grab some rockets. There's a lot of revenants in that building, the Cyber's Garden. Ooh, I still hear a chain gunner. Where are you? There you are. Just gotta be careful with my health. Yeah, that's I need to die, because I'm afraid I'm gonna catch a rocket, so bye bye. Oh, I missed. Let's try again. Bye bye. Okay, I just need to get rid of all the enemies here before I press the switch. Thank you, Rockets, for doing all the aiming for me. Oh yeah, cells here, very important. Cells we're gonna need for an upcoming fight. But... Not because of the BFG. Like I said, the BFG I think is a bit overkill in this map. Except for the final fight. But it's kind of mandatory to use the BFG there. You'll see what I mean. Also, you are still alive. Feels good to be able to snipe with the super shotgun though. Alright. Uh, don't have rockets. Let's pick up all the revenants here. And I'm just gonna plasma them with a double damage plasma. And then spread attack. Spread attack, yeah. Spread attack, ah. Oh. I forgot auto aim doesn't work like that. You still have to aim at something in the center of your screen. Okay, so here's switch number two. Now the BFG has been lowered. Let me just rocket everything here. Who needs to aim? I want to kill those Spider Metals first. Yes, I also have homing missiles now. Hear me. I think there's one more Spider Metal. I don't remember there being two. But I could be wrong. No, oh, it's only two up, it seems. Let's use the shotgun a bit. Alright. Got all the rockets here, yes, and yes, alright. Now for a fairly tricky fight. This one. I think this is the hardest fight in the map, honestly. It's very um, unpredictable. But uh, let's use the plasma here. It's gonna be a lot of hit scan, revenants. It's gonna run around. Hopefully. I deal with the hit scan as quickly as possible. This is mostly the, the hit scan here that's scary. See, I grabbed the mega sphere, but look at my health, it's just gone. Resurrector, get out. Hey, look at that, I'm, I'm, I lost so much health and armor. Okay, I have a blue key. Um, let's heal up. Do not want any surprises. Don't need the green armor. Um, we're almost... Actually, we are done with the map. We just need the yellow key. 
which um, where is it again? I'll find it. Let me grab the BFG, which I lowered. Oh, I see. The BFG is the yellow key. Okay, so the BFG cannot be missed. Um, yeah, so let's do the final fight. Which, uh, like I said, is uh, pretty crazy. Okay, so let me see. Let's pre-fire the BFG, because we have a lot of cool and cybers to deal with. And as you can see, the BFG fires three BFG balls. And yeah, it's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, that's all the kills and the secrets. So I say, let's go. Is there anything I missed? I showed off everything, right? Yeah, I showed off everything. Except the chainsaw, but this map doesn't have a chainsaw. Okay, so that was the Sapphire Citadel. And uh, yeah, a great way to showcase your custom weapons and enemies. And uh, yeah, it's a nice run and gun kind of map. It isn't too terribly difficult. Maybe the final fight, if you try to grab the supercharge and the cell packs and you're not paying attention, the Cyberdemon may yeah, fire a rocket in your face. And also the blue key fight, I guess, can be a bit tricky. But yeah, other than that, it's a fairly approachable map. And there's always difficulty levels. I'm not sure if they're implemented, but I'm pretty sure they are. I know multiplayer is not implemented. I read that on the Doom World thread. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. You should uh, go check it out. It's a nice uh, introduction to uh, DSD hacked weapons. Also for um, other mappers to uh, teach them that it's a thing. You should definitely uh, try it out. Deco hack or deco hack, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, easy to learn and uh, quite powerful. As for the map itself, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, run and gun fun, enjoyable. MIDI, I guess, is a bit repetitive. Maybe it's too short for a map like this. And I'm pretty sure this MIDI is like one minute long, not even one minute long, but uh, that's, a, that's a minor complaint. Uh, I guess my other point of criticism is the combat. It's uh, really cool how um, slaughtery it is, I guess. It's very... Um, there's a lot of variation in enemy placement, like there's like five enemy types in one room, kind of just placed uh, haphazardly, but at least it feels like they're placed like that, except for maybe the sniping enemies. Not in all areas, of course, but mostly in those big open areas, it felt like you could just run in circles and you win. There's nothing, there's no real strategy going on here. And yeah, weapons are powerful. The plasma rifle is amazing, really powerful stuff. Uh, rocket launcher also quite powerful. Although it feels like it doesn't have much stopping power, not sure what it is. Maybe it's the reduced splash damage, but taking down crowds of enemies feels slower than the original rocket launch, not sure what it is. I guess the fire rate is a bit lower than the original rocket. Uh, but the plasma is uh, yeah, mix up for it. That one melts through crowds, it's really good. And uh, once again, the BFG, I don't know, feels a bit too powerful in a map like this. You, um, feels like, I don't know, it's more fun to just plasma stuff, like shoot 100 cells instead of one BFG ball. But yeah, it's, um, I think mostly used for the final fight. Uh, I didn't check out the other maps. I know there's 10 maps and, uh, monster counts go into the hundreds. So, uh, maps are built for the, the powerful weapons. And, um, yeah, if you're interested, Download link is in the description as usual. Uh, go take a look. I will also go uh, have a look at the other maps. I will briefly play through them. And uh, yeah, it's uh, something very unique. I have never played anything like this uh, on my channel before. Like all these custom weapons and enemies for uh, a new um, format. DSD Hacked and MDF21. Alright folks, thank you Cheese Wheel. Very nice submission, nicely made. I hope this will achieve your goal. To, uh, spread awareness how strong the combination is of MDF21 and the SD Hacked, so uh, mappers can start experimenting with it as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in submission number 10, which is going to be another practice run, but it's going to be a very, very, very difficult map. This is one of the most difficult submissions I've received so far, in the top five hardest, definitely. It's uh, pretty grindy, so you may expect some outtakes, who knows? But yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough one, so I'm not sure when that video will be ready, but that's gonna take me uh, some time to record and uh, practice. So I'll see you then, submission number 10, and uh, have an awesome day.